to get to this story because I believe it we owe this attention uh, regardless of what you feel about Chinese manufacturers this is big news and um, I think you're going to see more companies start to do this so Xiaomi will now officially unveil its custom 3 nanometer chipset next year with a report stating that the silicon will be positioned to replace Qualcomm and MediaTek CPUs. Now, not around the world, specifically in, in China. Now, this is news because the tariffs. So this had this directly has to do. Remember that story I put out when Trump got elected, how the tech world is going to change uh, now that Trump is elected. Well, this kind of ties into it. So the whole tariff thing i don't know where that's going to go um trump has stated he wants to put tariffs on every chinese product that comes in america he's going to charge 20 percent tax on top of that product so if you buy something from aliexpress and it's a hundred dollars well we're gonna have to pay 120 because there's a 20 percent tax on top of it right so i believe there's no statement or any major rumors but it looks like China is either a going to do the same thing to us. So whatever we export to them, they're going to put a a tax on it, a tariff on it, essentially. So the Chinese person who buys an American product is going to have to pay 20 percent extra just like we are. Or they're just going to stop buying U.S. products altogether. Right now, what comes out of the U.S.? Well, a lot of stuff. But in the tech world, Apple iPhones and uh, Qualcomm CPUs. Qualcomm, based in America, headquarters in San Diego. Um, MediaTek, I don't believe is is where is MediaTek based. I'm not sure, but anything coming into the country um, is going to be probably taxed. And I'm speaking about being in China. So Xiaomi is a Chinese company, so they're kind of getting all they want all a lot of their products, specifically tech products, to be homegrown, right? So I believe, for one thing, Xiaomi's looking to make their own silicon, their own CPU, just like Google's trying to make their own CPU, just like Apple made their own CPU. For one thing, it's good to have full control over your entire CPU. It just is. It's better control. Uh, it's, you can kind of fine tune it to how you want to do it because how it works is um, companies that are using Qualcomm CPUs, right, like Samsung, now they have a lot of pull and they have a lot of influence on if they really really need something done inside of a cpu they obviously have to get it approved by qualcomm so hey we need the cpu to do this we need to find, i want to i would like to see it fine-tuned a little bit well if samsung wants that fine-tuned they have to go to qualcomm and ask them to fine-tune it right so there's a relationship there when you make your own cpu like apple you don't have to get approval you can obviously you have to get approval from inside Apple, but it makes it a lot easier from inside approval on your own products than having to go to a whole new company and get approvals. So that's why Google wants to make their own silicon CPU. Plus, for cost reasons, it, it's cheaper to do that, honestly. Um, but Xiaomi, that's one bonus. They don't have to ask because Xiaomi right now uses Qualcomm. They use Snapdragon, which is a U.S. product. So I think that's the second reason. Second reason is they don't want to depend on anything U.S. made. So that's the second reason why they've they've started to make in, uh, their own CPU. Now, I don't believe they're going to have... Uh, I take that back. They may have... You know what? I don't think they're going to have TSMC make it. Because the U.S. has told TSMC... Hey, we don't want you selling any CPUs to any Chinese uh, made electronic. In, uh, uh, and that includes Xiaomi, right? So the US is putting pressure on TSMC not even have zero ties with China, even though Taiwan is technically still a Chinese owned island, but I'm not going to get into that whole mess. So the U.S. is putting pressure on TSMC not to manufacture any CPUs for any Chinese company, period. So that's why 
Xiaomi wants to make their own CPU and I believe manufacture their own CPU, quite honestly. Um, here is the story. I have it here. It says reports indicate that Xiaomi plans to officially launch launch its three nanometer, which would be on par with the best, latest and greatest uh, uh, nodes, right? The three nanometer is what the Snapdragon 8 Elite will be on. Uh, they're going to launch this this upcoming year. So just literally within a couple months away, which is likely to create considerable unease amongst competitors. Specific timelines for the launch have not been disclosed, but it is anticipated that Xiaomi will utilize one of TSMC's three nanometer variants for its custom chipset. So there you have it. I'm not really sure uh, the politics going on uh, that are playing out behind the scenes. Um, I know there's lots of pressure on these companies to kind of cut ties with other companies. Um, but in October, it was reported just last month that Xiaomi had completed the tape out the outline of its first three nanometer chipset, indicating that the next step is to establish a partnership with a foundry to manufacture to commence mass production of this Xiaomi CPU. The detailed report does not specify which quarter the announcement will occur, prompting additional inquiries as the situation develops. So I have in a related story also tied in here. TSMC reportedly achieves 100% utilization for 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer supplies, highlighting its market dominance. So get this. Recently, TSMC informed its Chinese clients, i.e. Xiaomi, via email. So TSMC informed, informed its Chinese clients who buy CPUs from them via email that they would no longer receive shipments of seven nanometers, a directive seemingly from the US, uh, which challenges that of Samsung is encountering and improving its yield of three nanometer. TSMC remains the sole viable partner for Xiaomi for mass production of wafers. Okay. Um, Xiaomi's commitment to mass producing its first three nanometer chipset is undoubtedly will be subject of rigorous examination with the risk that the U.S. government could necessitate licensing for Xiaomi to receive shipments of from TSMC. I kind of, here's a whole other story. I really, really, really got to go. Here's another thing. I don't really, and depending on how you look at it, I don't, I'm not sure I like the U.S. telling, telling TSMC what to do. TSMC is not an American company, right? It's, it's Taiwan, it's a Taiwan company. And basically, the U.S. has told TSMC, you cannot sell certain CPUs to Chinese. Uh, I think it was 5 nanometer and 7 nanometer. However, 3 nanometer was, they have not been told they could not ship 3 nanometer chipsets to Chinese uh, manufacturers. I don't really like how the U.S. is telling them what they, what they can ship and what they can't ship. Who they can have as clients and who they cannot have as clients, right? Like... And I look, depending on how you look at it, they don't. Uh, and so if you're from the U.S. government standpoint, China is our adversary, right? Um, competition. But I just it doesn't for whatever I, I get why they're why the U.S. is doing it, but it doesn't sit well with me. Like TSMC should be able to do what they want to do, like. The U.S. has no governing body over TSMC, minus the plant in Arizona. And by the way, the plant in Arizona, what a total wash that is becoming. They're not even going to produce the best CPUs in Arizona. They're going to produce two-year-old chipsets. That the, the technology has been out for almost three years. They're not even going to mass produce the very best CPUs in Arizona. So, well, whatever with that. Um, but... MediaTek is based in Taiwan, too. What do you know? Thank you for that. I had no idea. Thank you. I got to roll, guys. I'm really, really late. But um, thank you for that information. I, I did not know that. Okay. Well, that makes sense. They're good with their chipsets. So, look, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, we're going to get into the U.S. and more U.S. government getting involved with technology. Oh, what a freaking disaster that's been. 
And if you want to hear me rag on the U.S. government some more, uh, join me tomorrow. Because we did a report saying they're forcing Google to sell Chrome, right? Which didn't really sit well, but they're also forcing Google to, to not have a browser for the next five to seven years. What? So we'll get into that tomorrow. And how does that play into Google's timeline for, okay, they were going to sell off Chrome. So now they're going to merge Chrome OS and Android and then put that on laptops, put that on the new Pixel laptop, put that on uh, Chromebooks. Now that the government doesn't even want them to have a browser for the next five to seven years, I don't think we'll get into tomorrow. I don't think the people at the highest levels of the government have a freaking clue what's going on in the tech world or how like this stuff works. I, I honestly don't. I'm going to save it for tomorrow. I promise. So join me tomorrow and you help me go hear me go on another rant. <laughs> so, uh, and we'll have more stuff. We'll see if I can dig into that phone three CPU mess. And, uh, I got a couple other stories for y'all that I'm going to save for tomorrow. And then don't forget Friday, we're going to have a, um, we're going to have a uh, Black Friday, uh, nothing but tech deals. If you've been waiting to buy a laptop on Black Friday or your mom a laptop or uh, uh, your wife or your, your kid a, a uh, Amazon uh, Chrome, excuse me, an Amazon Fire tablet, wait till Friday. I'll probably do it earlier in the day too so you can have more options in the afternoon. Uh, we'll dig into all nothing but tech deals on Friday. It's going to be a fun day because... That's one little weird skill of mine. I, f I can find the very best deals. I mean, if you want a blue Pixel 8 Pro, I can find you the best deal across the whole internet. That's a weird skill of mine, but um, you will come to the right place if you're looking for good tech deals. Join us Friday and then join us tomorrow and I will go on another rant about the US government getting involved with our tech world. So I appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. It means a lot. This is episode 200, 242 on this Monday afternoon, November 25th. Please have a safe and enjoyable holiday. If you are hitting the roads for a uh, Thanksgiving road trip, please, please, please drive safe. Be safe. Stay off the phone. Put on eSIM Studios podcast. Put, a, put on a YouTube channel and set the phone down on the side. Please do not get distracted. Please stay safe. Uh, I want to see all y'all back here uh for years to come. So I got to roll. Peace out. Take care.